celebrating the birth of Christ through a collection of 25 oil paintings. This colorful art series titled Christ and the Other Person used to be an annual exhibition. For the first time in six years, it is on display again. This was um, given to us on permanent loans from the missionary of the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. Um, because Father Clara has got a long history with Bloemfontein, he moved here in 1946 from Belgium to become a priest and a missionary in Tabanshu. Father Clayhout, the artist behind these distinctive paintings, was born in Belgium in 1919. He was a self-taught oil painter with no formal training, painting mostly people, his surroundings such as mission stations and religious scenes. The Christ and the Other Person art series is said to depict the depth of Christmas Day. It's about Christ and the other person, so obviously while we're celebrating Christ's birthday, but it's also about Christ's relationships with other people and general human relationships. So even if you're not a Christian, you, it, you, there's a lot of thought you can give a lot of thought to your relations with other people and love and peace and all those things that Christmas stands for. Claire Hout, who came from an artistic family, was commissioned to paint several murals at mission stations throughout South Africa. Underneath each artwork is a Bible scripture that explains its message. There's one that's um, with um, Christ and the devil. Um, I think it's just an interaction where, you know, good and bad come and you have to separate both. And then there's one with um, Christ and Elizabeth. Um, we know the story of Elizabeth in the Bible, if you do read the Bible. So it's just um, paintings that tell you the ins and outs, the stories that happened between Christ and other people, the interactions that he had with other people. The experience is more than enjoying the bright, colorful paintings. Since it's Christmas time, um, this honestly gets you to a space where you have peace and um, comfort in um, allowing those stories to come inside you and relieve them. This is what actually is the importance of a museum. This whole exhibition is crucial because it's the birth of Christ time and um, if you're a person that's religious or if you're a person that, um, like Esther explained, um, you have interactions with other people, this is a safe space for you to come and actually interact with the whole artworks. I think art is very crucial in this day and age because uh, art mirrors society. So it helps us to look into the mirror and be able to reflect, you know, because um, art in general just imitates life. The exhibition also provides books on Father Clayhound's paintings to give art lovers deeper insight into his various paintings. Clayhound died in 2006 at the age of 87. Refule Mekwa, SABC News, Bluefontaine.